Hey coach, hope you're having a great week. If you haven't watched the last couple of videos, we talked a lot about camps and about how to get it set up, how to promote it, how to uh, set up registration online. And we talked a lot about the nitty gritty details you need to run successful camps. If you wanna do camps over the winter or over the summer, or if you wanna run camps year round, like some of uh, my clients in, in our consulting program. Today, what I wanna dig into is fees that you pay the facility if you're running camps indoors. This is a very common problem I know a lot of coaches have. And if you're watching this video, I want to help you out because if you watch this from start to finish, I know this is gonna help you. And this is a lesson I wish I would have learned early on when I started to rent out space to run my own camps. And I'm gonna take you back to 2009. This is the first time, or sorry, 2010. This is the first time I ran my own camp and I didn't have a clue about what I was doing. If you watched the last couple of videos, I talked about, you know, I didn't know how to uh, get parents to pay me online. There was no systems in place. Uh, it was very disorganized. But back in, in 2010, I wanted to run my first indoor soccer uh, camp. And I, I actually looked at this photo the other day because there was only like four kids there. Um, and I ended up paying a lot of money just to reserve the space. And because back then I just, I was unaware of, of negotiating. I was unaware of striking a deal with the facility owner. I didn't know about that. They told me how much it was going to be per hour. And I think back then it was $180 per hour to rent out this, this space. And for some coaches, that might sound like a ton of money. For some, that might not sound like that much. Um, it all depends on where you live. But I just chose to pay him. I think I paid him for two hours, gave him all the money up front, and then I tried to go put together my camp. And I went about that the worst possible way because what I should have done is, number one, I should have figured out how much he was charging, and then I could have looked at 10 other places in my area to then get quotes from 10 other people so I could compare and see, well, what's going to be the best for me? How much should I pay? Um, you know, where do I want this to be? What part of town should this be in so it's, it can accommodate the parents who are coming to my camp? I didn't do any of that. I just went to one place and gave him my money and I was like, all right, I'm just going to do my camp there. That's the worst way of thinking because I'm limiting myself to one option. So step one is, Give yourself multiple options and you can go to an indoor facility and see how much it is and go somewhere else without being committed to anyone. And that just comes down to going to Google, figuring out what are the indoor facilities in your area where you can do this and start to price shop. You should be shopping. You should figure out what's going to be the best for you. That's step one. Step two is you have to be resourceful. A lot of coaches think that they have to have this grand facility that they train kids in. And if you looked at any of the consulting clients I'm helping right now, a lot of these coaches are using school gyms. So they're training on hardwood floor, like gym floor. Um, some are training uh, in churches. The churches have a lot of indoor space. Some churches have gyms and they're training at elementary schools, middle schools. They're, tr they're training at places where they're having to pay so little to rent out their space. That could be for private training group training or, or running camps, it doesn't matter. But if you're resourceful, you'll be able to find something that is financially easy for you to invest in. And if you're like me back then, just giving people money, expecting that's the only place in town, that's a foolish way of doing it. And I learned the hard way because I lost a lot of money giving them um, the, the money for the camp and then not having enough kids that, that came. So I ended up losing time and money running that camp. And once I, started to figure out, okay, well, I need to be resourceful. I need to go look and, and start to investigate my area and see what are other places I can do this. Then I started to understand negotiation, which is the third thing that you need to, to learn. And I can guarantee you, because I've done this since then, I've gone back to that same indoor place and I've run a few other camps since I did it on day one. And I've never paid them full price ever. Uh, for, for running camps because I started to understand every facility 
they want, what they want is they always want to have money every hour because every hour someone's in there, they need to make money, okay? Otherwise they're losing money. With that being said, I needed to figure out, okay, well, if I can guarantee them that I'll be there four times over the next two months, I can prepay them, but give them, but not give them the full amount that, that they're asking for. I can give them, instead of 180 per hour, I can give them $100 an hour, but give them uh, you know, $800 to have eight hours and, instead of spending way more. And a lot of facilities will let you do that if you just ask them. So I can give them money in advance knowing that I'm gonna sell out my camps and clinics. And this way I can save a lot of money on the front end when I run my camps and clinics. These are things you should be doing. If you ever have to run your camps and clinics indoors, you have to be able to do the research, okay? Be resourceful and, and uh, you need to have it set up to where you're constantly negotiating the price. This way you can get the lowest price possible and I know back then if I knew that, I would have never paid the full price. And this is a lesson that you can learn from me. I've been doing this for a long time and I hope it helps you out. So if you need additional help with setting up your camps and clinics, shoot me a comment below this video. The last three, four videos that we've shot on YouTube, it's all been centered around camps and clinics, how to do it, how to get set up. But if you need more one-on-one -on -one help, I would love to chat with you. Uh, what we do is we help coaches create a system where they take their camps and clinics and they can do it year round. And I would love to help you do that. If you have the idea, um, I can help you execute that idea. So I'd love to chat with you. Hit me up in the comments below and we'll talk there.